Alright lads, lately FIFA has been kind of boring for me, and let's be real, FC24 is probably the worst FIFA ever made. So one night when I was up way too late playing Hungry Shark, I have had my first ever good idea. Why don't I shove all the good teams in FIFA into one league together and see what the hell happens? So basically I created the Super League, but in FIFA, so it's only abusing AI and not real people. Alright, le let me just show you how it's gonna work. So I'll be in charge of Bayern Munich in this Super League, as Sean Daesh, I think it's a pretty fitting managerial appointment. As you can see, we've got these uh, Saudi clubs just to fill in the space. I'm curious to see how they'll do. We've got loads of big clubs on here. So we've got Barcelona, Bayern, Inter, Juventus, uh, Liverpool, Man City, Milan, Napoli, Madrid, Spurs. These two Saudi clubs, they're, <laughs> they're starting at the top because of alphabetical order, but I don't think they're going to be there very long. Enjoy it while you can, lads. Yeah, I think this will be a very interesting league, actually. Let's make this clear right now. In real life, I am against the Super League, but in, in a game, it's completely fine because these aren't real people. Who cares? Who cares about these simulations running around? Look at Daesh standing there on the side. He knows he's got this job cut out for him. They can't deduct any points from you now, mate. Right, this is the squad I'm going to be using. So this is the formation I've chosen. If I had to improve anything, maybe I'd maybe go right back and another winger maybe as a backup. A few moments later. Right, that's sorted. Walker has been signed. We've got our first signing. Everyone, welcome to Bayern Munich from Liverpool. The man himself, the legend. It's Star Wizzy, and he's meeting with Sean Dyche. He can play on the wing, he can play striker, he's got pace, he's perfect for us. I'm not gonna lie lads, we've made a god squad here. The Super League is in our hands. We've got our first game now though, we play Atletico Madrid. What the hell? Right, there we go. We've conceded! Lads, how are we supposed to win the Super League when we're creating nothing? And doing that, what is that? They dribble like 75 year old handicapped incapable citizens. I don't know. Are you kidding me? Why can no one do anything? No one. Where are you going? Where are you going? How has that gone in? How has that gone in? Are you sit? They scored three more in the sim! Right, okay, after that nationwide disaster of a first match, I simmed the season up until December before playing any more games to spare myself from going even more mentally insane than I already have. And honestly, I could have never predicted the chaos that this league was about to create. Let's see where we are, let's see where everyone is in the table, to be honest, I have no idea. Right, let's go from the bottom of the table to the top. In last place are Spurs, with seven points in 13 games. I'm just gonna have no comment on that one. Right in front of them, though, in nine. 19th is Arsenal, 18th is Napoli, I thought they'd do better than that, 17th is Man City, 11 points in 13 games, Chelsea 11th, staying as a mid-table team as always, 6th, with Man United are above us, what? That's a bit embarrassing. 4th is Inter Milan, 3rd is Liverpool, 2nd is Barcelona, which means 1st is Real Madrid. Barcelona are undefeated actually, 6 draws, 7 wins, no losses. Let's take a look at our calendar. We've got a very important game against Liverpool. We're actually only one point behind them. If we win this, then we move right into the top four. Right, here we go. Darwizzi's gonna be facing against his former team. Here comes Nunez. He's so fast. Pass it in. Yes, Nunez with a beautiful assist. And Sade was there to finish it off. Here's Nunez again. Kane. What the hell? He's been- he's been killed! It, a, assault! Assault! Battery! Murder! Please get involved! Someone snipe him! What the- what's going on? What's going on? The game just tried to give me a seizure! The scripting can't- can't score, now it's trying to kill me! Oh, here comes Kane! <laughs> Oh, another stupid red finish from me. I'm I'm actually robbing my own players of goals. You know how mad that is. A few moments later. Yes, we've won one nil. That now puts us third in the table behind Barcelona and Real Madrid, and we play Real Madrid soon. Oh my god, we play Barcelona now as well. Jesus Christ, this month is crazy. How have we let that happen then? He didn't even make an attempt to block that. How have we let Frankie De Jong smash one into the net? 
Here comes Nabry. There's no one supporting him. Okay, he's built. Are you kidding me? Yay, please. I know there's someone at EA sitting behind the screen watching me play this and making these stupid things happen, sitting there laughing. Please just spare me. Oh, I am living proof that EA spies on people. Oh my god, he does not save that! And now we score a header. What is this game? Not every game needs to be like 8 million goals and have 4 bicycle kicks and a banger from outside the box, EA, please. Are you actually joking? We never speak of that game again. Alright, we're currently fifth. We are 2 points off Real Madrid who we play now. Barcelona have taken the lead. I'm not looking forward to this game, to be honest. Lads, if any of you were ever thinking about becoming a FIFA YouTuber, or just making FIFA content in general, don't do it, please. I don't want you guys to have to experience this. I genuinely feel bad for the people who make millions playing FIFA. Are you kidding me? Please, Kane, do something. Yes, finally! Maybe there is hope for us after all, lads. There isn't, there is no hope. Nunez! What an assist from Nunez, come on, 2-1! Nunez is such a key part of this team, it's stupid. What a goal! What a goal! What a goal! I have no energy for this game anymore, what the hell? At, at least Darwizzy is here to clutch up for us. By the way, why is Kimi like literally unfazable with, with his stamina? He's always got max stamina, no matter what. Is the great enemy. Could still be dangerous. Oh my god, nice cross to the opponents, mate! Last minute equaliser! Last minute winner! Wow, what a goal! Thank god that's over. That important game so I don't have to play anymore. Two thousand years later. Alright lads, this is it. I sim to the end of the season. I didn't want to play any more games. Those important games in December was all I was doing. I'm gonna flick to the, the other screen on the left and see the final results, including wherever the hell we finished. Right, let's let's find out. Right, I've covered this up from myself. Right, in last place, 20th place is Napoli. Newcastle in 19th with 34 points, and Milan in 18th with 37 points. Those are the three teams getting relegated from the Super League. And just surviving relegation is Chelsea. Why couldn't they go down? Why? Come on. EA, you can't give me anything. You guys really do hate me. And Al Nasser have somehow survived above Milan, Newcastle, and Napoli and got 16th. Man City got 15th with only 42 points in the Super League. Arsenal got 14th, Al Halal got 13th, 12th was Spurs, they really pulled themselves back after the relegation fight at the start. 11th with PSG, 10th Juventus, 9th Atletico Madrid, 8th Manchester United, they dropped down a bit. 7th is Bayer Leverkusen, that's an impressive finish. 6th is Borussia Dortmund, that's also an impressive finish. 5th is us, Bayern Munich, we didn't even get in the Champions League, we finished 5th. We had 9 losses, 12 draws and 17 wins with 6 63 points. Fourth is Liverpool, one point ahead of us. Are you kidding me? Third is Inter. Second is Real Madrid, which means that they pulled through and Barcelona have won the Super League. Clear by 10 points as well. Jesus Christ, this league is actually insane. Our top scorer was obviously Harry Kane with 25 goals and 7 assists in 41 appearances. Right, now let's look at the stats across the whole league. The Golden Boot winner was Kane with 24 goals. Martinez got second with 21. Cristiano Ronaldo got 19 goals in 38 matches in the Super League. Haaland got 14 goals in 31 appearances for Man City. Neymar got the same as him for Al Halal. Mbappe got 12 goals only. You know, let's check the other leagues quickly. Because we had to move teams out of the Premier League for this to work. Let's check some of the other leagues and see how they did. West Ham won the Bundesliga by a lot. And Nottingham Forest came third. Brighton got second in the Serie A. Aston Villa got first.
No, what? Right, I think this game actually has rotted my brain. This is starting to be... This is starting to get stupid. Right, Brighton got second. Aston Villa got third. Roma won it by a landslide. In the Saudi League, Everton got second and Crystal Palace got third. And Al Ithiad won it. They won it on goal difference, though. Everton almost won it. Juventus destroyed Barcelona in the FA Cup to win that, apparently. In the Carabao Cup, Man City beat PSG 1-0 despite finishing, like, what, 15th or something stupid? Porto won the Champions League. What? Porto beat Man City 3-1 to win the Champions League, making a Super League in this game is way too crazy. There was no chill for the entire season, <laughs> my god. If you did enjoy this video then I'd really appreciate a like and subscribe as they help out the channel a lot. Also be sure to check out my Instagram and Discord links in my bio to keep in touch with me and always know when I'm going live or when new videos come out as soon as possible.